So it's no secret that Amazon wants to automate as much of the work at its warehouses as possible. The company even recently admitted that a fully automated warehouse is one of its goals, though it says that's at least 10 years off. While picker robots aren't smart or delicate enough to replace people yet, it sounds like the jobs of those who actually box up your orders might not be as safe. Amazon recently installed carton wrap machines near Seattle, Frankfurt, Milan, Amsterdam, and Manchester. These bots are able to build, seal, and label between 600 and 700 boxes per hour. That's about five times faster than a person. So it's no surprise that Amazon is considering putting these machines in dozens of fulfillment centers across the country. They would allow it to ship packages much faster. Plus, robots can't complain about dangerous working conditions, terrible pay, or the grueling hours they're subject to. Yet. Of course, there's a pretty big downside here. Jobs. According to Reuters, if Amazon puts two of these machines in each of its 55 fulfillment centers in the US, that could lead to about 1,300 job cuts. That doesn't mean Amazon would immediately lay off over 1,000 people, but it could simply decide not to fill those positions as people leave them. And those jobs tend to turn over pretty quickly, what with the previously mentioned horrendous working conditions and all. It will probably still be a while before Amazon can replace all or even most of its warehouse workers with machines, though. Its own picker bots are extremely limited, as is Walmart's Alphabot, and even Elon Musk had to admit that he may have been a bit too bullish on the robot factory worker thing, leading to delays for the Tesla 3. That being said, don't get too complacent. We'll see you tomorrow with more Engadget Today. So long as Verizon doesn't replace us with robot writers.